Wow, look at all those batteries. What do you think, Lucky? Oh wait, your name's Toby, not Lucky. But check it out. Look at all these batteries. Uh, previously, we did fly the airplane once in another video you guys may have seen in the past. Well, we technically flew the airplane. I mean, it just got basically into ground effect and flying a little bit. But a lot of you guys were like, well, that's technically not flying. And you may actually be correct because uh, it was really only flying within a cord span of the wings and we were flying on older batteries. But now I have the correct batteries. So now we're going to answer the real question. Can someone with just model airplane building experience, albeit a lot of it, build and fly a real airplane in their basement? Well, we're about to go find out. It flies great. Holy crap, it's got a lot of power now. I push that thing forward, the thing jumps into the air. This thing flies amazing. Holy crap, this thing's awesome. It's only warm. It's not even hot. Here. I can keep my hand on that thing all day. We're good. We're How golden. Fast going? Uh, about 40 uh, miles. Actually, it's about 35 miles an hour because that thing reads five that high. Thing, that, thing on the air. that is freaking fun. All right, so we did fly between half and full power. I'm gonna go get these batteries on charge because I need to see how much flying I'm doing with the gas tank because I do not want to overburn on fuel. Let's go charge these batteries back up and see what I actually did burn on that flight. Well, it indeed does fly. Uh, so we burned about probably 7,208 milliamps in each uh, specific battery. I mean, the milliamps actually change a little bit because of the cells and variations and all that, but they're all very, very, very close. So that means we burnt a little bit 
under half a tank. We didn't even quite reach half a tank of the capacity of the batteries. I still have to actually get a wattmeter on board and actually monitor everything that is going on in the airplane. Right now, we're still experimenting with it, but blah, 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 blah. It indeed does fly. Um, let's make this nice and quick. Uh, I got a cheat sheet here of things I need to talk about. Uh, this is an ultralight, so it means if you're in the U.S., it falls under Part 1 of the regulations, meaning the airplane itself has to be slower than 55 miles an hour. I think it's 55 or 65. I don't know. But uh, slower than that. Stall speed needs to be around 20 miles an hour. Uh, weight needs to be under 254 pounds before you put the pilot in there, but that's completely loaded, minus the pilot, of course. Uh, let's see. Uh, the motors are these Tenergy 150cc electric motors from Hobby King. Huge thanks to them. They made this project possible by donating those motors. They actually work kind of quite amazing for what they are because um, those are model airplane motors. They're not designed to run consistently at a high power setting, which I specifically use them in. And they held up great. They only were hot or just warm to the touch. I could leave my hand on them indefinitely, so that means they're not running past the temperature which they shouldn't be because uh, my hands aren't on fire and burning off. So big thanks to them. Uh, thanks to uh, Tattoo for um, giving me a discount on batteries. Uh, I spent about probably 1200 on these, but they gave me half price off, which is nice of them. Uh, Banggood sent the charger, which uh, makes charging these things a piece of cake. Uh, worth that there. But yeah, check out this charger. This is the, like, the iCharger series. It makes charging these things pretty quick. Uh, come on, I need you to move right now. Stay right there. Let's see, uh, the plane is primarily constructed of foam, fiberglass, and wood. Uh, some aluminum too, you should also check out the uh, previous build videos. I'll put them down in the link below. Uh, it's probably worth watching because uh, the project actually did fly. It, it didn't, I didn't start a project and didn't finish it. This actually completely uh, is finished now, other than painting. We will probably paint the plane later on in the uh, spring of next year. And this is probably the last video you'll see on this airplane for a while because uh, well, it's a little saturated. Uh, let's move on to some other stuff. So, huge thanks to the people that made this possible. Uh, thanks to my friend Eric Monroe for coming out and shooting some of the video of the day we were flying this thing. Uh, thanks to Dewey uh, Davenport. He's the guy that has the uh, that owns the property. He uh, does biplane rides. Uh, huge thanks to the people on Patreon. You guys all made this possible. Without you guys, I probably would would definitely be short uh, changing some of the parts. I used all aircraft grade hardware in this thing, and everything is built very safely if I could say that at least everything that is a uh, critical to flight like you know I put some tape on certain look at my pedo tube that's just taped on that's totally a uh, okay, ghetto good. and flight worthy okay. things but if that tape comes off it's not gonna you know cause the airplane to crash but having cheap bolts break such as like in the wing bolts that will definitely cause a crash or having control cables break and stuff like that oh also with the GoFundMe for the parachute uh, I did acquire a BRS but um, that BRS is too heavy so I'm gonna probably sell that and get the right one for this airplane that one's actually made for the airplanes, uh, the next size category up. So that is way overkill, and I'm just lugging around dead weight, which ultimately works against me because it makes the plane more unsafe by carrying a too heavy parachute. Because uh, everything not flight critical, I want to keep the weight off the airplane because uh, weight hinders airplane performance, at least for light airplanes. So I think I have a few more clips here. Oh, hey, look. Look how big the dog is. If you guys remember the dog from the beginning, here's Toby. He's super big now, even though he was a munchkin in the beginning. Grandma, I need to take some measurements. Mm, that's, yep. It's definitely small. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of extra clips, so um, man, just thank you guys, because uh, this is quite an insane project. Probably one of the craziest things I've ever done in my life, and uh, well, I think we're going to end on that note.